Hello everyone, it's Friday, fabulous Friday, the 22nd of September today. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I want to bring in the gorgeous Divine Feminine Illumination cards today by Sandra Cole. And the thing I'm loving when I'm looking at this card, you know, the front of this deck is that beautiful light shining through. And I feel this is a sign today that no matter what's been going on, no matter how bad things have seemed, there's always a light shining through. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel and you are now beginning to see that. That also means you're beginning to believe and have faith in your dreams. And when you have faith in your dreams, you start believing even more in yourself and in the process of your light. So in the process of your life and the process of your light, because through our life, we find the light. So what do we need to know today, please? So whether you class yourself as a divine feminine or you're just watching this for an angel message, this is going to resonate with you. So the energy around this day is play. So we're being reminded by heaven how important it is to play, to connect with our inner child, to see the magic in things. By making time for play and ensuring that you are not taking life too seriously at all times, you feel good. You raise your vibration. Have fun and do things that fill you with joy, which in turn will help to raise your vibration. So you can affirm today, I am incorporating play into my life. So think about your day. Is your day busy today with work or obligations, duty, responsibility? Or are you finding some time to play, to have time by yourself, to have fun, maybe to go out with friends or plan something wonderful? Or just have a relaxed time. Whatever it is you're doing today, connect with your inner child. And when you do that, you're going to feel more harmony in your life. You're going to feel blessed. I have harmony in all of my relationships. So when you start playing with life, which means you start enjoying your day, waking up in gratitude, feeling good, connecting with God more, calling on the angels, knowing that you and the universe have a thing going on, you bring more peace harmony and playtime into your relationships so you don't take things so seriously you stop taking things personally and you enjoy the rapport between you and someone else whether that's your twin flame a partner a lover a friend a family member a stranger you meet in the street or someone at work but most importantly you feel that amazing bond with yourself and the relationship with yourself gets better more exciting, more harmonious, and because you're connecting with source. So by learning to always take a step back and work out what's being triggered in you by someone else and what they are teaching you, you begin to understand yourself much better. In other words, if someone hurts you or says something to you and it upsets you in any way, instead of reacting in fear or lashing out or defending yourself, Take a step back and breathe and process and think, why has this hurt me? Why has this triggered me in this way? Why is this making me feel this way? And then you observe it in a higher way and you're able to respond with love, remembering that people are always doing the best that they can with what they have. Hurt people, hurt people. And if people are lashing out at you, it's never really about you. It's about what's going on with them. And that allows you to have compassion. And then you begin to understand yourself much better and you're able to work on healing you and growing yourself to develop more harmonious relationships with others. And also remembering that you are always protected with the angels, your spirit guides and your loved ones in heaven constantly by your side. You will know that you are always supported, loved, guided and protected. And you are, even when things don't seem to be going to your plan, they're going to God's plan for your life. If you're stressing out because you can't meet up with your person or your plans change, it's in God's time. And that means that there's a better way or something better is coming or you're being protected from something. Even if you're in a traffic jam, you're being protected by something. So affirm, I am safe. I am safe, I am guided and protected. You know, I watched a film the other day on Netflix about, I think it was called Love at First Sight, where it was about a lady who missed a flight by four minutes. And obviously she was stressed out. And she was, you know, annoyed at herself for missing that flight. But everything else for a reason. 
And she got on the next flight and she fell in love with the guy she was sitting next to. So everything happens for a reason, even those slight delays or those traffic lights or always see it as that you're being protected in every way. Choice. You always have a choice. You have a choice how you feel. Whether you choose to feel good about something or bad about something, it's perception. Most of the times, the things that happen to you, you know, are actually happening for you anyway. It's just the way you're looking at it that's making it seem bad or like something is going wrong. It's all about perception. Everything is neutral. It's the way you view it that makes it positive or negative, light or dark, you know, good or bad. So as a result of learning that your thoughts create your reality, which you know, thoughts become things. If you go there in the mind, you go there in the body. Then you are consciously making the choice to let go of negative thoughts. And then you bring more positivity into your life. So you can affirm I am choosing positive thinking. And because you know you always have a choice. Even when people are triggering you or upsetting you, you have a choice how you respond or react to that. Are you going to let that affect you negatively for your entire day? Or are you going to say, I'm not going to take that personally? I know who I am. I know my truth. I know I'm a good person. I love my life and life loves me. And then you respond with love. I am choosing positive thinking. I am safe, guided and protected. I have harmony in all of my relationships and I am surrounding myself with joy and I am incorporating play into my life. And that's what you want to focus on today. So think, how can I make my day more exciting today? How can I connect with my inner child? And it may just be going and getting an ice cream or going to the cinema by yourself or going a different route to work or going for a walk or going having a nice bath or doing something lovely for yourself. And then you'll feel better. And then when you are interacting with others, it will feel better because you're less stressed and more at peace. And you'll know that anything else that happens is always about protection and choice. So choose today to respond with love in all that you do, and then you won't react the same way in fear. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.